and fantastic. Otherwise, we'll just keep on the move here, keep rolling along. You know what? No. I refuse. Can probably take you out with some irradiate. We at least have lightning resistance now, so it's not quite as scary as it once was, but I don't really see a need to uh, push our limits here, but to any stretch. So let's just finish exploring what little area remained there and leave Sojibo to their eternal slumber and just go about our, our own journey here, shall we? No need to cross the streams, be that as it may. You also get a mark just so that I don't accidentally wake anyone up. Fantastic, there we have it. And onwards and, well I guess not upwards, but you get the point. And, geez Louise, turns out I am happy I took you kids upstairs. I was gonna just try and duke it out down below, but, oh, I was in, was in statue form. Now there's your problem. You definitely want to be in dragon form when fooling around down these parts. And there we go. That is much, much better. Ah, you do get mited up, my friend. Oh gosh, it's a slaughter. Um, there we go. Take a step to me, my reaver friend. Ooh, first gold dragon. Well, I'd, I'd definitely like to go tet a tet here. Let's take you upstairs so that we're not needlessly risking our life just for the sake of a mano a mano duel between two dragons but that does go just beautifully and we can finish off the rest of these sons of guns you're an ice buddy so what do you cast 3d26 i'm guessing ice flavored yeah ice blast look at that well that shouldn't be too too bad with manifold assault doing a lot of collateral damage to all those sons of guns we got another book from sif here as well while we were at it fantastic and still no storm form we'll get there eventually folks just hold on to our horses and currently just unarmed trom or trombat that's what i meant unarmed combat only thing being trained so let's go back to the drawing board here shall we our ignition is down to 4%, and we only need 6 spell levels to get it up and running. How close are we to a level? Oof, not close. You know, I do like that, Sapid. Fighting is always nice. Just get that overall HP and dragon form punching up. So let's do it. Let's turn it on for a smidge here. While we're at it, I think I'm also going to throw some invocations at the problem so that we get that Divine Exegesis failure rate to as low as possible and can bring fighting up to at least 12. We'll probably end up pumping that a little bit more, but I'm happy with that for now. And okie dokie, do we wish to just continue in depths here? Let's do a short little stretch. I still haven't fully recovered from the camping trip. For whatever reason, I really did a number on my, my shoulder muscles right at the top here. And it doesn't help that I've been continuing to do stuff. I just finally have started getting a little bit back into working out, which was a terrible piece of timing right as I'm trying to recover from some exceptionally sore sleeping situations. Probably not doing myself too many favors in that regard, but it's nice that I've at least convinced myself to do the tiniest bit of physical activity after spending the majority of the last, what, like three years just sitting at my desk each and every day. So why do I go camping? We evolved into houses for a reason. I mean, you do have a point there. I feel like that's why a lot of people nowadays are switching on over to go in like trailer camping or at the very least bring like a full fledged air mattress instead of just a thin kind of air mat. Sure, it's a lot of packing material and a bit of work to get set up, but definitely gets rid of one of the, the more indicting issues that generally plagues campers. But I gotta say, I personally absolutely adore getting to spend some time outside, so I don't know if I can give it up, even if it's bad for me. I mean, there are far worse habits that uh, I could observe that would also be likewise terrible for me, so not the end of the world. Let's pop back here real quick as we get absolutely inundated with a bunch of uh, shapeshifters. Terrifying. Unfortunately, most things, once they actually enter in 
glorious combat with us aren't exactly the end of the world. You, my friend, are a bit of an exception to that. Magical effects are unraveling. Let's try to murder you before anything too frightening happens. We don't actually want to take this trapdoor upstairs if we can all, at all help it, because that might lead us directly to Sojibo. You guys live in a house? Oh, no, 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 not me. This is actually just a green screen. I live in an igloo, like all Canadians, of course. Even got a, a full green screen outfit for my pet polar bear to make her look like a dog instead, because I'm very committed to the bit, of course. Ooh, and I would like to recollect some ice blast if at all possible, so what can I leave by the wayside? Let's just pop in here real quick. Do you want staff of poison? Very much can go. I'd rather have some extra wand charges than that. And otherwise, we can just keep it trekking along here. Just keep shrekking. And fantastic. Nothing we can't handle here. Though it's always slightly terrifying, especially ooh, when we lose dragon form at an inopportune moment. You know what? Do we not have our Arlek? No, we do. Those wasps apparently just pack quite a freaking wallop. Jeez Louise. You kiddos do not fool around in the slightest. That much we can definitely agree on, but shouldn't be the end of the world as I continue to mostly tab my way through all these fights. Much to my own risk, jeez louise. And I miss dragon form. 4% chance to fail? That's not great. Let's try that again. Jeez louise. Let's see, we can at least step here. Slow down, Turinsky. Slow down. Can probably kill you in two hits. We do have that Reaver behind. Or were you a Reaver? No, just Tengu Warrior. Okay, that I can actually get behind. That I'm a bit more comfortable in dealing with. Let's just slap the heck out of you, sons of guns, and run, run away back to the stairs. There we go. No need to get too crazy with it here. Let's play it just a wee bit safer than I have been over the last few moments. Again, that hubris level just rising at absurd rates. It is truly one of the more uh, dangerous effects that you can be hit by in the game, especially since it's fully meta and there's no mechanic built in to, uh, to keep ourselves from doing anything too, too stupid. But hey, we'll work on it and hopefully, just maybe, we can continue to get through this in one piece here and not too shabby just don't lose dragon form in an inopportune moment forehead it's that easy in fact just don't lose dragon form and it's even easier net on the other hand i would like to gain let's not lose that again it leaves us in a bit of a, a rough bind of what the heck do i drop i guess protection from fire can probably go Want to keep corrosion around since that's one of the few things that we don't have resistance to at all moments in time. Might Potion actually becomes really good as a dragon, so we don't really want to uh, baff about too much there. Torment and Vulnerability, neither of these are likely to be used, but I'm so bad for just holding out hope that maybe, just maybe, I'll find myself in that perfect niche scenario where I'll be kicking myself if I don't have them, so... To avoid any uh, issues in that regard, let's just pick that son of a gun up and drop the fire resistance ring instead, and that should be fantastic. Ooh, and another blinking scroll, don't mind if I do. We'll of course just keep slapping away from the stairs here. In fact, Ignite Poison OTR are great against Spriggans of the few things that continues to uh to hold its own against those sons of guns oh hello friends well definitely collecting quite the crowd so i'm probably just gonna get the heck out of dodge in fact let's do so now bring you upstairs and oh that's apparently still in sight range so this stairwell there we go much better let's recover real quick and see if this is more manageable I mean, not really, but also still very tempting to just make a stand here, slap our way through. We can use up as much magic as we so desire. 
and just rinse and repeat. Hey, Dr. Pirate, how's it going? Your fellow Dr. Octopus here is still alive and well. We're loving seeing it, and okay, this could take a bit of a, a rough turn, even with our insane fire resistance, which don't get me wrong, we do have full fire resistance for these giants. We have unfortunately seen that we can still sometimes get slapped around with some bad rolls, so let's try to prevent that as much as we can, play it safe, and live to fight another day. Dying immediately after I made claims that our doctor was alive and well would have been less than ideal, shall we say. And even that's an optimistic framing for it all. But there we go. Fantastic. And we'll just slap away at you, my friend. Ooh. Are you poison resistant? No, you're not. What the heck? There we go. Fantastic. Again, my favorite way of taking out Spriggans, anything unavoidable, is just about the, the bee's knees when it comes down to the, the crux of it there. And that is just about perfect. Fantastic. Even have the Ziggurat available if we're feeling wild at any point during the run here. I mean, definitely, if we were playing online tiles for the tournament right now, you know I'd be trying to get a few ziggurat floors under our belt with a character like this. Pretty good odds that we're able to, to clear our way through, if not an entire ziggurat, at least a decent few floors. Ah, Quicksilver Dragon, no mana. That means I get the heck out of dodge real quick. And let's uh, do a quick rinse-repeat strategy on that son of a gun. There we go. Fantastic. And now do I get to pick up my Blinks roll? Hey, there it is. Back up to two Blinks rolls. That is absolutely stellar. Just javelins we can ignore. I don't think we're going to be going off into the realm of throwing at any point on this character, seeing as how pretty much have everything under wraps. And what do we have? Ring of Dex? I don't think that we're going to break the bank for that one, unfortunately. Should stay in dragon form while wandering about, though. Let's not get too big for our britches here and just play it as safely as we possibly can. I mean, OTR still getting some time in the sun. I think that's where OTR, you can really see how much it shines, is even at this stage in the game, we're still using it to good effect, and that's not going to go away. Because even when we end up finding our way to Zot, it's still probably one of the best ways to deal with the Draconian packs that you find wandering the levels. So it just, all in all, doesn't get much better than a wee bit of Poison Explosion. But okie dokie, still blitzing our way through here. Not much ado about nothing. It feels good. Again, especially after not how last week, but the week before I went on this character, it was a trying time, to put it lightly. So I'm very glad that we've seemed to uh, really hit our stride here. And we haven't even begun to peak yet. Just you wait. As so we head off into the final sections of Depths, and then once we're through here, We'll probably just head straight for our third rune. I mean, I don't even know if we really have to go to Elf. Could be nice to get more treasures. Don't get me wrong, always is. But I'm actually feeling all right. When we are in dragon form. Okay, or not. Let's try that again. When we are in dragon form. Negativity is going to be rough. Torment is going to hit like a truck. So potentially finding some solutions there is huge. I guess, how much money do I have? 667, so I'm back to being a long ways off from being able to collect the Necronomicon from that shop earlier. Which is a bit of a shame, but on the flip side, eventually Sif Muna should hand us the keys to the kingdom there anyway. So, not the end of the world. Hey Jazzy, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. In fact, I hope that you also have a long weekend. Depends on where you are and what jobs you work, but I hope everyone has a little bit of extra time to relax. It's always nice to, to have the leeway, of course. But regardless, it is wonderful to see you. Always happy to have you lovely faces around. Do you know what? 
definitely time to whip out that OTR goodness once more here. And then just get blasting. That's one way to do it. Wasn't there one with the obsidian statue? There was. What did it have in it? It had something that we wanted. Oh, it had Bjorniers Vile Clutch, which is pretty solid, but I don't think we'll be going into on this character. It's mostly just Revivification and Death Store that I want in our back pocket with Divine Exegesis, just in case things take a bit of a rough turn. Ooh, that is a nice ring. Man, I'm never gonna have enough money for that spell book if they keep offering me good sales. I guess this puts us over three pips of fire resistance, at least when we're in dragon form. It's so not strictly necessary. Another mo nine MP and three intelligence though. That's pretty huge. And what would I switch for it, I guess? Maybe strength can go? Won't it make Necra at least cheaper? In what sense? Because I didn't think anything lowered shop prices, but I could very much be wrong. There are lots of little mechanics in the game that have never just quite become relevant for me, and so I don't have the, the most perfect understanding of them, so let me know for sure if that's the case here. <gasps> okay, so we've now picked up Storm Form, which is maybe a little bit redundant now that we also have Dragon Form up, but... Still kind of sick. So if we pop in here, can I already cast it? It's at 13%. I want that end ignition. Oh gosh. My, uh, my spell wants are not a cheap price to pay here. You're good, Jazzy. You see that I got Pod Dragon with Manifold going, personal favorite of yours. It has very quickly become my personal favorite as well. Just incredible. However, we did make promises about the storm form shenanigans, so I think we're going to have to bring that into the mix. Honestly, we should pick if we're a dragon or a lightning octopus. Probably from a from a logical standpoint, this makes sense. Oh geez, so hot in here. But I would like to have the options. At BBC, don't you get books cheaper when you have something from them already? Is that true? Don't play this against you're not sure. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think so. The the stingy shop owners aren't quite so uh, so generous in their understandings. Oops, let's definitely bring back Dragon Form. And again, this is where OTR gets to shine just a wee bit again. Unfortunately, I don't really want to ignite it because this buddy is who we're largely trying to murder indiscriminately. So Manifold Assault still probably slightly better in that regard. So even as I say that, we're of course starting to get just a wee bit surrounded. We're gonna have to make sure we retain enough magic to uh, re-instigate our forms if we happen to lose it. But otherwise, should be sitting pretty. And there we go, sitting pretty indeed. And there's our entrance to Zot opened up. We are definitely on the, the home stretch one way or another here. Let's just try and survive long enough to uh, to get there, shall we? That's the dream, at least. But no, we will wait here for the barbs. There's no real ifs, ends, or buts. Might as well help ourselves out. Definitely trying to kill the Nicoxic from afar here with Manifold Assault so that we don't have to deal with their specific brand of shenanigans. But there we go. Not too shabby. Perfect. So yeah, it's tempting to stay in our dragon form ways. I think I have to learn storm form just for my own sake. Just so I can check off the box, even if we don't end up really using it too, too much into the future. It's a, uh, a nice thing to have on our bucket list, just in case we decide to go down that avenue. And perfect. Managed to kill the hasted iron troll because before rather they become too much of a problem. And not too shabby. Oh my ice friend. There we go. Dragon on dragon violence. You hate to see it, but sometimes it just needs to be done. So let's finish off the rest of our depths floor here, shall we? Ooh. 
and doing so let's not rush into combat as our squishy little subplot self instead definitely go for the dragon form as much as possible and fantastic so there we go the world is our oyster we're just about in the final stretch we will most likely go to slime for rune number three here and yeah wanting both ignition and storm form is it's going to be a headache but what can i say i'm a simple man and i definitely want my storm of fire and dragon energy all all at my disposal so with that in mind let us do, do, do where's slime on this list i should have it memorized oh it is m in my head there's a niggling voice saying that that was the case and i just didn't trust it i didn't believe it but here we are could even potentially go and finish off rupert here in fact did take us to the stairs where i believe we last saw them hello rupee boy maybe i shout here I mean, it at least brings some attention our way. I didn't hear any shouts, so maybe not the, the big man themselves, but still not too shabby. And rock slimes don't stand too much of a chance against our draconic body here. We might want to swap over to... Uh... Nice. Resistant to mutation is lovely as well. Uh, but we might want to swap over to a resist corrosion ring, I guess. What would we be taking off for that if we head into dragon form? I want one pip of cold, so we have to keep our cold resistance ring around. We could lose some AC. That's a little bit frightening in its own right. We could lose some slain, I guess, and that's probably worth it. A little bit less firepower for a bit more defensive capability. It's the least we can do here. And otherwise, we'll just continue treading our way down. I mean, decently lucky start. Of course, as soon as I say that, we come to an area where we don't immediately see stairwells for us to travel down, but that's fine. Just continue to, to slap our way through trouble here. Oh, and we even miscast Manifold Assault there and couldn't move without me really noticing. That's not exactly what you want happening without being intently aware of its existence but no real issues at the end of the day here and we'll continue to just get slapping in fact if everyone wants to come this way you know that's that's a good enough welcoming party for me especially since it does bring some attention back onto the floor up here the one rough part about being a dragon is we do end up roaring at the top of our lungs a decent chunk of the time but hey, what's a little bit of attention? I mean, we've always been a bit of attention seeker here on this octopod, so not the end of the world. And that should just about clear the way. So we get a few more spells, still not the high level necromancy ones, but I'm sure they're just around the corner, metaphorically speaking. So let's just survive long enough to see that come to fruition, shall we? And we're just about at the end of the area and in fact there's our next stairwell down let's see how many spell levels we got on that level up the answer is not enough unfortunately may also want to work out some of our skills here don't get me wrong unarmed combat to max level is going to be absolutely stellar in our current state of play here but i do want ignition up you know what? i think we'll just be forgetting a few spells here in fact, we have four spell levels, so if I can just clear up a four spot, we can get ignition. So that's Sting and Stone Arrow. Hit the dirt. Does that sound reasonable? I think so. Uh, so yes to that. And once more with feeling, let's get rid of Stone Arrow. Let's learn just a smidge of the good stuff here. Bring ignition on board and not too shabby and let's probably end up waking up the royal jelly <laughs> with the sheer amount of noise we make maybe stick around with a bit of magic oh speak of the devil okay let's uh hold up real quick 
you know, even with it being the expectation, I was still a little bit taken by surprise. Do I dare go down this stairwell? Still have some friends waiting for us. I'd like to get rid of them without hurting the royal jelly too much. I guess we could stair dance once. Yeah. That does the trick nicely. Then irradiate to just take care of all of our new pals here. Just wonderful. And now who's waiting for us? Still the royal jelly. Do I dare make a, a hoobaloo down there? Oh me oh my. I feel like we're just gonna stomp our way through. But in case we don't, <laughs> I should have some recourse available. We could read a teleport, I guess, as soon as we go on down, and that could potentially pull us out of danger at the nick of time, or in the nick of time, I should say. Alternatively, we could run around this floor just a wee bit and see if we can't find another stairwell down and deal with the, the Royal Jelly from a distance, which is definitely the safer option. So you know what, let's, uh, let's engage in some survival tactics here, just real quick-like, and play it safe. No need to be too out of hand here one way or another. All three stairwells up are here, which means... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> How much magic mapping do I have? Only four? I definitely wanted to save those for Zot. But we could read them here. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's read one. Early levels of Zot probably won't need it. Holy moly. Welp? I don't know if that's the game plan. And no stairs, huh? How about that? Well, we might just have to gun it by the seat of our pants here. So what I think I'll do is not read a scroll, but quaff something. We only have one haste? No, we have three haste now. Let's quaff haste. Quaff brilliance. And let's face the music, shall we? So start there, we get a nice selection. Then we can start bringing ignition into the mix. That should kill all the quicksilvers at least. Oh, and the royal jelly's dead. Well, I mean, that works. Let's do a couple more ignitions and then we'll just clean up the rock slimes with some manifold assaults. And there we go, just beautiful. Like I said, there's a good chance that we just absolutely steamroll the royal, steamroll the royal jelly and not a care in the world. And that does end up being the case, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm still glad we at least did our due diligence to see if there was anything else we could do to uh, alleviate the, the stress of surviving 